Hey, I'm Cartez Ross, founder of tshirtriches.com. Welcome. Now, I've been pressing and selling t-shirts since 1999, going on uh, almost 20 years now. And, you know, and I'm still blown away how this business is so simple. Now, this design here, um, American by birth, Christian by the grace of God, is one of the designs that we started selling back in 1999. Now, this is not one of our designs. There are transfer vendors out there that will sell you um, designs that they have already pre-made. And if you know, uh, we are in the religious Christian apparel market. And so there are vendors out there that have a bunch of Christian or religious themed designs already pre-made so I can buy these. For example, this guy here sells this particular transfer for like $1.50. Um, depending on how many you buy, your costs can go way down um, depending um, again on how many you buy. Back in the day, we were getting these for like 50 cents a piece. Now, um, I got an order today for, well yesterday, the, 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 the press out 10 of these designs. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm still amazed at how some of these designs, you know, almost 20 years later, they're still selling. And that's the beauty about this business. So I'm gonna press these 10 shirts here and talk to you about a few different things. So, you know, with T-shirts, if you have an idea you can get it on to this paper. And the inks that are here are screen printed inks and they're done by a screen printer. So you're not printing these from your home printer or anything like that. You're actually getting these done by a screen printer. So therefore you're getting screen print quality inks. They wanna reemphasize that. And almost 20 years later, this same design is still selling. So if you have some ideas, um, and in this case, this is not even our own idea. This is somebody else's idea. And with screen printed transfers, the inks come off of the release paper here and it's transferred onto the shirt. And as you can see here, this is what we get. So somebody ordered 10 of these and we're gonna ship these out. So 10 years later, and look, I, I just wanna show you the simplicity of this design. And I'm looking down at the screen, so I'm not looking directly at you, but it, the simplicity of this design. This is a flag with a couple of words on it. And if you count the colors, there, there's blue in here, there's black in here, and there's red. The white takes on the background of the shirt. So there's three colors. This would actually be fairly cost effective to press, to print, to get somebody to, um, you know, to get a screen printer to do this. It won't cost you a fortune to get this done. So the reason I like this business is because you get to create, you get to design. And a lot of the folks that reach out to me are also in the religious Christian apparel market. And they tell me that God has placed some ideas and visions of shirts inside of them, but you gotta get it out of your head and you gotta get it onto a shirt. Keeping it locked up in your mind serves nobody and it's an injustice because there are people out there who want to buy your stuff. And so this order, 10 shirts, if I wasn't running my mouth talking to you all, would take me about four or five minutes to put, to get all 10 of these things made up because essentially it only takes about eight, nine seconds from the time we close this thing down for the shirt, for the inks to transfer over. So let me make sure my microphone, yep, I got my microphone on. Don't wanna be talking and ain't nothing being heard. And you see how easy that comes off. This beats screen printing. Beats screen printing by a country mile. Folks, you just gotta get started. Will you make mistakes? Absolutely. Will you lose money when you first get started in this business? Absolutely. I'm not here to tell you that it's gonna be all peaches and roses, cause it ain't. 
you know, when we got started, I had very little money and I made some poor decisions, taking rent money to start the business. <laughs> Not too long after, got evicted from my apartment. And uh, you know, this, this is not a story of from rag to riches, no. I made some dumb decisions and that got me thrown out. I didn't learn my lesson. Got thrown out another time. Had my car repossessed, you know. Um, but I was determined to get this thing worked out. Now back then I only had, when I first started, we only had, let's see, we're going on child number, Two, I believe and uh, this thing is crazy man you know but I have five children now we're married with five children I wouldn't take the same risk now that I did back then I got too many responsibilities you know so but there, you can play this right plan most of these uh, startups that I talk to the reason why most of them fail is because they don't have a business plan. They don't even sit down to kind of strategize this thing out. And I'll admit, I didn't plan either when I got started. And that's why my road was much more bumpier, had more trials and tribulations for lack of planning. And, um, you know, doing, starting a business now, I wouldn't even consider of doing anything without putting together a plan of some sorts. Business plan, marketing plan, have my ideas already sketched out. And, um, you know, I got an email the other day from an individual. He or she had some design ideas already. And I don't know, he specifically asked if he should get his logo trademark before he started the t-shirt business. I'm assuming he didn't mean logo. I'm, I'm gonna assume he meant his designs, his t-shirt designs. And, and I've answered this several times before. It's gonna cost you money to get your trademark or copyright. It's gonna, and it's gonna take a long time for it to get approved. And if you're already strapped for cash and somebody comes along and take your idea and try and make a design from it, it's gonna take time and money to actually enforce that copyright or the trademark. So if you don't have the funds, if you're barely scraping pennies to get the trademark, then in my opinion, I'm gonna tell you just get started because you're gonna need some money to defend it. Your, your trademark or your copyright is only as strong as your ability to defend it. And it's gonna cost you money to defend it. You know, so don't go throwing the limited funds you have onto trademarking something, and then you don't have any money or resources left over to actually get the business up and going. What good is a trademark if you can't, if you don't have any money to get your stuff out there so you can sell it? You know, um, make some money first. You might be surprised, some people, the designs that you get trademarked, they might not even like your designs, you know. Out of all the designs that we were selling on our website, and, 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 this, and I'm talking about the pre-made designs, stock, pre-made transfers we were buying from another company. So let's say we had maybe 50 designs on the site. Only 20% of those designs was selling the most, was bringing in the most money. So out of that 50, there was only about 10 t-shirts 10 that was really only doing it, that was really bringing in the money. The other 40, we could have taken those down and still cont continue to make about 80% of the amount of revenue that we had coming in just from the 10 shirts. So saying all that to say, whatever you come up with, if you come up with 10 designs, the bulk of them aren't gonna sell. There's gonna be a handful that do well. So it's better just to kind of get this stuff out there and identify which your sellers are, which ones are your top sellers and best sellers before you go spending money on trademarks. Um, you know, put that money back in the business. Once you get some money coming in, trademark. The website doesn't have to be super tight. You don't have to go out there and spend a fortune on a website. I mean, I recommend you get a good one. You need a nice one. You know, but more than that, 
get the time to get your get quality designs made. The designs that you see here is your business. The business is not your trademark. The business is not your website. The business is not your ideas. Your business are the doggone designs, plain and simple. If this is crap, you don't make money. Nobody wants to buy junk. Nobody wants crap. This, this is your business. You are in the business of design. But um, this is this is your design, and um, you got you got to take the time to get it right. Don't skip on this. Pay a designer, a graphic designer, to do this for you. Um, in our course, we have. Uh, training and resources to show you how to find graphic designers and we also discuss how you can make sure you own the copyright to the designs um, that you get done because it's standard practice for the graphic designer or the person who creates your design it's standard practice for them to own the license to own the rights to the design that they create for you so you need to make sure you get that taken care of so if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave your comments below. Take a look at the courses that we have available on our site. I have a link below this video here. Um, more than glad to work with you. Want to help you succeed. Want to see you profitable and successful in this business. Thanks for watching. My name is Cartier Ross. Have a wonderful and blessed day.